Okay, right here the plug goes right here. And we're going to take one of these timing picks to put the pump on top dead center. Uh, let's see which one fits. Not that one. Might be this one. So see, it's just basically a. You could make your own if you needed to. But basically, what we're going to do is turn the engine, or not the engine, I'm sorry, the pump, which is kind of a booger. But if you look down in there, you kind of see there's a cut out there. Really hard to see. But basically, my pick tool needs to go into that. I got a deduce a way to. Okay, a strap wrench like this is probably the easiest way, and then you don't damage the, uh, the teeth on your fuel pump gear. Usually, what I do is I take it, when I take it off, I'll check timing and make sure it's pinned where it's supposed to be. Let's see if I can get this to turn. Oop, yeah, I went too far, so I gotta go back the other way. So you can see where I'm turning at. So as I turn it, I essentially need to drop my pin in, and that didn't go. So we're going to go ahead and put it on the engine. We can actually turn this a lot easier once it's on. Okay, we're going to put the fuel injection pump on. I've got to get in here and get this thing lined up. It can be kind of a bear cat. And they're heavy old suckers. I don't have it picked exactly right. Let's see, I'm going to go to the... South and east. Kind of help hold it in there. You see, I've got it rigged up with a choker hold. Pops in, and we got to go up just to here. All right, now it's in there. Sweet spot there. Get it. Okay. I'm just gonna get that started and then I'm gonna come up to the front and bolt all these in. There's a nut back here we gotta get. There's two nuts. Okay, so there's some special 3/8 12 point headed 12 point head bolts that go right here. And there's two down below. You can't get a regular ratchet on. Or you can't put a regular 916 or 3 8 916 headed bolt down. They just don't flat fit. So I get all these started. Loosen them up just a little bit. There's two more down here, I'll show you in a minute. Then I'm gonna come up here and tighten all of this stuff. In there. In there. In there. And there's one clear underneath here. Need to get my strap out of there. Kind of a trick to get it fed in there. My curtain size straps will actually fit. A couple times I've had to loosen it and nagle it in and out, but that one came out this time. the others. Okay. 
There's some O-rings and stuff back here for where the oil drains back. This thing's got fuel and oil both in it. Oil lubricates it. Fuel lubricates some of the injector parts, but that's where the high-pressure fuel is developed is in this thing. You can see right here and here are two 12-pointed headed bolts. This is your transfer pump. Uh, that sends fuel, so it pulls fuel in here from the tank. This will send it out to a fuel filter, and then from the fuel filter it'll go back into the pump. The section right here is the fuel injection pump itself, and this part back here is the governor. Um, there's a shutoff solenoid. Here's an hour meter on it. So these old ones, this is how they read hours on them. Um, but the governor's kind of finicky. This is the throttle right here. Um, some of them have mechanical shutoff there. Uh, this one's got an electronic shutoff. Okay, this is where the gear train goes. This is the timing advance unit. See how it's geared in there? This gear actually slips. So there's bolts that go through in here. And once you get it set, uh, you torque those down and it's set. Uh, we've got number one on top dead center already. We'll get our bolt started in there. And so you see this is how I said it was easier to turn. I can, I, I'm turning the injection pump because these bolts go through to the pump itself. So now I'll have to go back and find my top dead center on that one. And that's what I'm turning to find that. It's really hard to see in there with the camera, but this is the pick we need. Um, it'll fit down in that groove in there and lock our pump where it needs to be. Um, oh, I'm sorry, not that pick, the other one. This one here, so as I turn it on the front here, you can see the pin drop down. I can't turn it, you can kind of see it moving there. So our pump is pinned at top dead center number one. Back here, we have where we locked our timing pin in with our turning tool here, so the engine's locked at top dead center. So basically what we'll do is we'll torque those bolts down now up on the front and it's timed. Okay, a lot of these have a timing advance unit up here. So I pinned my pump I pin my engine now I'm going to come around and torque down my if this was a timing advance unit I uh, uh, it, it is of sorts um, but this one's just straight timed um, the pump has some advanced mechanisms in the governor so um, anyways it's pretty simple to time these mechanical engines like this as long as you have the right tools that pin I showed you I've taken a uh, bolt and ground it down before and use that um, Just as long as and you can also you know you can see down in that groove of how well um, It's um, Lined up like I say you just got to use your head a little bit But after this is buttoned up We are done timing the engine. The only other thing I'd want to check would be to make sure I have some backlash. And oh, I have to get my pin out first. But there, you can hear the gears clunking. So I have backlash, so we're in good shape. So now I pull my timing pins and the engine's ready to go. It's a cover that goes here, we'll put on in a second. Got a bunch of holes here that need fixed on this cover. I'm not gonna do it today. Um, I'll leave that for later, just for time's sake. Um, well basically what I'd have to do is drill it out and put a, a keen cert in it. That will keep it from, uh, or that will be able to put it back to its original size. 